Well, good day, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Whiskey Journey. Today, I've got another rum review for you guys, uh, but firstly, just a couple of apologies. Apologies I haven't uploaded in a good few weeks now. Um, I'm currently on annual leave, and my original plan was to actually review quite a lot of uh, uh, rums, but I um, ended up spending quite a bit of time with my partner and also my family in general. Um, so family comes first for me, and um, I just thought uh, I'd put the reviews on the back seat. But um, secondly, also, um, apologies, I haven't really reviewed any whiskey recently. I know it's been a while. The thing is, I've been quite uninspired with whiskey, uh, single malt scotch whiskey recently. I uh, haven't really seen anything that's caught my eye to get. And um, I've been enjoying some Springbank, but they're all releases I've already reviewed. Um, but hopefully something will come along soon that will um, pique my interest. Okay, anyway. That's out of the way, let's look, let's look onto this bottle right here. So this bottle right here is from Long Pond Distillery, um, bottled by Whiskey Blues, 17-year-old, um, uh, distilled in 2005, bottled in 2023, 66.1% ABV, so quite high strength, and pot still distilled, 259 bottles only. Um, as far as I'm aware, uh, it's pretty much sold out now. This was available at Mulroy's of Soho, but they long gone. It was available for some time though, I must say. And the bottle on my left, um, I've already reviewed this one, but I thought I would do a comparison between the two because I feel that they are quite similar. And this one is one I've already reviewed, a Kill Devil 16 year old, also a Long Pond Distillery. I think this one was one of my top runs of last year. I think it got f either fourth or third place, if memory serves me correct. Outstanding rum, but as usual, guys, let's just get a strand to the tasty notes and try out this long pond. Okay, I've been wanting to review this one for a while, but just haven't got around to it. So as I said, um, already lower esters, in my opinion, and not quite the same level as what you get on Cambridge, uh, the Cambridge release, the 12-year-old, which I'll be reviewing hopefully soon. Right, so strand to the nose with the whiskey blues. Rich, dense, dark fruits, definitely lots of coconut. I get a lot of coconut on this one, especially on the nose. There is some acetone there, some tropical fruits definitely, banana, but not heavy. Um, there's some olives there in the background as well. A little bit of mustiness, a bit of earth and soil, definitely. A little bit of alcohol prickle. The 66% ABV makes itself known, definitely, but not off-putting in any way. Just a lovely aromatic nose, I find, with this one. Almost floral. Just a beautiful, beautiful nose. Powerful, very strong but delicate at the same time with the notes that I've mentioned. Right, let's get straight into the taste and see what we get. Oily, chewy, spicy in the finish. Lots of spice. Coconut, tropical fruits, darker type fruits, caramel sweetness, hints of vanilla, that floral edge that I got on the nose, definitely in the, the mid palate. Not a lot of esters. More esters than the um, Thompson Bros one though but low on the esters, which is not of putting in any way. Well balanced. A little bit sharp in the, in the finish. Acetone 
hints of glue. Slight bit of bitterness there, pleasant bitterness. Alcohol presence, well integrated, but perhaps slightly, slightly um, hot on the palate, which is why I've added a bit of water. And um, you just see what we get, it's lovely. Very, very good. Very, very different. And I'm, this is why I really, really enjoy the Long Pond Spirit. I have no idea what mark this is, but there are varying degrees of marks with uh, the different term, um, you know, with, with Long Pond. I do feel, as I've said already, this is lower esters. Um, but that's the beauty of, a, of the distillery, much like um, Hampton. You can have, um, you know, two or three different Long Ponds and they all taste very, very different. Um, this one is very different from the um, um, Thompson Bros and also very different to the, the Cambridge. Um, but equally impressive, in my opinion. Let's just see what's happened now with uh, a few drops of water. Wow, that floral edge has really, really come out quite a lot. Definitely more floral, caramel. The tropical fruit notes are definitely um, appear, make more of an appearance now with a bit of water. So I'm getting more banana, coconut, more of that coconut. Aromatic, slightly herbal, slightly grimy. As I said, a bit of, a bit of earth, a bit of soil. I think that's opened up nicely with uh, just a few drops of water. Okay. Right, let's just try on the palette then. seconds so it's better better with a few drops of water I think a few drops of water have um, opened this up a wee bit definitely getting even more oily texture to it mouth coating caramel almost mushrooms as well slight mushroom edge as well vegetal but tropical at the same time definitely some bananas no real pineapple edge or anything like that but mainly bananas and other fruits dark fruits as well um, there comes a bit of a little bit of glue as I said before a bit of acetone as well um, powerful strong spirit sweet but not overly sweet there's a bit of saltiness there a bit of seawater almost almost feels like a coastal edge to this as well definitely salty in the finish more so, as I said, more prominent now with, with that water, definitely getting that salty tang just on the end. Olives, hint of olives as well. I mean, it's just absolutely stunning. Beautiful, beautiful dram. Um, I mean, it's, it's up there, you know, out of all the long ponds I've, I've got. It's really, really good. Um, I don't know if it, for me personally, I prefer the Cambridge, which I haven't reviewed yet. Higher esters of the Cambridge. Um, but different dram completely, in my opinion. As I say, this is quite, in my opinion, lower esters. But let's just try the Kill Devil release. I'm not going to add water to this. We're just going to try that it's full strength. Okay, lower esters, but more esters than this one, in my opinion. Tropical funk, banana, grease, engine oil. Yeah, definitely an industrial edge, but the coconuts definitely make an appearance as well. Definitely getting coconuts on the Kill Devil as uh, like I got in the um, Whiskey Blues. Yeah, I just love this Kill Devil release. In my opinion, very underrated uh, Kill Devil. They released some fantastic releases. This one is a banger, banger of a rum as well. Um, but let's just try this then at its full strength.
Mm. Salty in the finish now. Mm. That's just a stunning rum as well. Tropical fruit nature, oily arrival. Almost like a pastry element, a sweet pastry. Apple, dark fruit, tropical fruit, glue, acetone, coconut. Obviously that 67% ABV makes itself known, but I think it's very, very well integrated in my opinion. Um, salty, as I said in the finish, almost like coastal edge, oysters, fish, almost like a smoked fish feel to it slightly. Aromatic, not quite as floral as this one. I, I would suggest that this one from Whiskey Blues has is, is got more of that floral nature. This one to me, less floral nature, but for me personally, a richer experience, definitely. And the finish lingers and lingers on this one. Just beautifully sweet. I would say that this one is slightly more sweeter than this one. Definitely, this one definitely errs more on the floral um, savory edge, in my opinion, with some sweetness, but this one's sweeter. Just absolutely stunning. Um, but as I said, I'm reviewing the Whiskey Blues one, but um, what can I say really? Between the two, um, my pick is gonna go with the Kill Devil, the 16 year old. I just absolutely love this dram. And it's the first one, um, it's my first experience with Long Pond actually, and I've still got some left. Um, this one for me is just richer, richer experience, um, more sweetness, beautiful coastal edge, more industrialness um, on the front end initially. I just find this one really, really complex, and you don't really need to even add. You don't even need to add water if you wish. This one, a little bit hot, in my opinion, benefits with the addition of water, so the bottle will last longer. But in my opinion, you can't really go wrong between the two. Both fantastic bottles, and as I said, this whiskey blues one's right up there. But my preference will be the Kill Devil 16-year-old. Okay, and you can still get this one. Uh, this is a master of malt. It's still available. Um, I can't believe it's still available. I would have thought it would have been sold out a long, long time ago. Um, but anyway, guys, that's my review of uh, Whiskey Blues um, Long Pond 17 year old. As I said, stunner, stunner of a rum. Um, as I said, you can't go wrong between the two. But if you had to ask me which one I, would I go for, I'd go for the Kill Devil. Okay. Okay, guys. So. Thanks for watching and as usual guys if you enjoy my content then please like comment and subscribe to the channel and um, it's always appreciated but as usual guys nothing much else to say except have a fantastic day i'll see all of you again soon take care cheers